Hello everyone, welcome to Hear the News today. The news today is Don't insult me like this. Mamta Banerjee to Prime Minister after meeting Rao. We will discuss about this news detailly now. Mamta Banerjee accused PM Narendra Modi and his administration of spreading a one sided fake narrative about the meeting of Cyclone Yas. Mamta Banerjee remarks come day after bitter face off over a meet. She had a quick 15 minute interaction with PM at an airbase Friday. Her outburst came after center ordered top bureaucrat to return to Delhi. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on Saturday hit back at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government a day after a bitter face off over a meeting to review the damage from Cyclone Yas, accusing his office of feeding fake one sided partisan news to the media. Don't insult me like this. We have got a landslide victory. Is that why you have behaving like this? You tried everything and lost. Why are you quarreling with us every day? Mr. Banerjee said at a news conference to set things straight. Her outburst came after the center ordered her top bureaucrat to return to Delhi. Sources in the central government told reporters that Mrs. Banerjee had skipped a meeting led by the Prime Minister, and photos showing her vacant sheet were plastered on social media by BJB leaders. Mr. Banerjee had a quick 15 minute interaction with him at an airbase where his flight landed and did not attend the review meeting the government had set. The chief minister said she had to visit a coastal district. Plans that were announced earlier and so she asked the PM's permission before leaving. I had made plans to visit cyclone hit areas. I had to travel to Sahar and Diga to see the damage caused by cyclone yas all my plans were made and ready then suddenly we get a call that prime minister wants to visit bengal to assess the situation after the cyclone mrs banerjee said she also alleged that the prime minister had called the meeting only to settle political scores and invited the opposition which includes his party bjp and her bit nair governor jagdeep dankar a department from the similar cyclone review meetings he had held in Odisha and Gujarat recently. Mrs. Banerjee contested the central government's claim that she made that the Prime Minister and Governor wait for 30 minutes, saying it was she who had to wait for PM Modi at the tarmac for 20 minutes. By the time we reached the place where this PM CM meeting was to be held, we found out that the PM had already arrived there some time ago and that there was a meeting going on. We were asked to wait outside, told that there will be no entry at the moment because a meeting is going on. We waited patiently for a while, then when we asked again, we were told that no one can enter for the next one hour. Then someone told us that the meeting has moved to the conference hall, so the chief secretary and I decided to go there. When we reached there, we saw the PM was in a meeting with the honorable governor, central leaders and even some MLAs of the opposition party. Mrs. Banerjee said, this was clearly against the brief, it was supposed to be only a PM-CM meeting. So we decided to submit our report to the PM and then with, then with the Prime Minister's permission we went to Diga. I shot the Prime Minister's permission three times, she said. Mrs. Banerjee said she was willing to touch the Prime Minister's feet if it soothed his ego. Because she wanted what was best of the people of Bengal. She requested him to withdraw the transfer orders for the chief secretary and called it an insult of bureaucrats across the country. The encounter between PM Modi and Mrs. Banerjee on Friday was their first since the April-May assembly election that the chief minister's Trinamool Congress party won. Despite a no holds barred campaign marked by extensive poaching and coarse rhetoric, ties between the two sides have been icy since long before the elections with the Trinamool government accusing the center of withholding funds over to the statement at the BJP struggling to communal divide while the BJP has blamed Mrs. Banerjee's party of political violence. Thank you for listening the news wonderfully with silence. Thank you for wonderful listening. Also, I want to tell something to you. The main is I give this news in description, so read the news in words in description with the help of the very understandable thoughts and also if this news is in very helpful for you, so you will like this news and share the news to everyone 
to know it thank you and if you want more news then subscribe jagadish evergreen youtube channel thank you have a nice day